I visited Afghanistan and saw how nearly $100 billion of U.S. funding for reconstruction projects is actually being put to use. This is my debrief. If you go to Kandahar, it's almost impossible not to be afraid because it's the home of the Taliban, it's where they were born. It's a very hot city. And in fact, when we were there, we were en route. There was a suicide bomber who blew himself up at the, uh, about 500 meters from us. So we pulled up just as this you know, suicide bomber, what was left of him was, 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 was on the ground. Everybody in town knew we were there and we were in this boarding house. And, you know, they've got their local, you know, security guys, but they can be bought off for 10 bucks. So it was, it's, it was hairy. It was so hairy, in fact, that when we arrived in Kabul, which is generally a hairy city, I felt like I was arriving in Paris in the springtime. They're taking our infrastructure. So if we build a building and then leave, the Taliban takes it over. If we build anything, a bridge, they, then they, they ask for a, a, you know, a fare to go over the bridge that we've just built. But the interesting thing is, is we give electricity. It's a big deal because electricity is hard to get in Afghanistan. So we give them electricity, but it's too dangerous for us to go collect the bills. So the Taliban just go door to door and say, you owe us the money. They, they don't make any electricity. They just collect the bills. It's, it's kind of genius if it wasn't so sad. A hundred billion dollars is a ton of money. So a lot of people are making money. Contractors are making money, and the, the, the scope of the fraud there is, uh, is well documented, not only in Afghanistan, but in Iraq. But what, who's really making the money are the sort of NGO, non-governmental groups, um, and the, the Afghan government is incredibly corrupt. The Afghan bureaucrats are incredibly corrupt. It's the most corrupt country on earth. So everyone we're paying basically is taking bribes and graft and everything else, and we're just making things that there's no use for. The, the bureaucracy is making lots of money in, and shady contractors. So he's the special inspector general for Afghan reconstruction. The key word there is inspector, he inspects. His job is to go and find out what the hell's happening, report it directly to the president uh, and to Congress, and then they're supposed to do things to change it. He's doing a hell of a job more so than the other cigars before him, to say, hey, this isn't working, we're throwing you know, tens of billions of dollars down the toilet. But it's the government of America and the DOD's job to actually fix it. And um, you know, he, can't, he can't do that alone or, or, or at all. His job is to, is to find the problems which he's doing. If the US stops giving money to Afghanistan, the general consensus is that it will devolve into a civil war. There are those who say that a civil war is inevitable anyway, but the problem is, is if America leaves, cuts off funding, the Taliban come back even to half the country, then you have the situation of, we went in there, spent you know a trillion dollars uh, of military money, as well as 100 billion of aid, and then we leave and the Taliban are back in. Now, if we give them money, and the Taliban takes that money. If we give them money and it's being thrown down the toilet uh, and warlords are taking it, then, you know, that's another problem. Uh, I think you can, you can fix one without, without having to just cut off all the money. Because if you cut off all the money, then you know, it's over.